Welcome, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread evening meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Just close your eyes and let your head gently sink into the pillow. God is here to receive you just as you are. Psalm 4 verse 8 says, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. This verse is the heartbeat of the Our Daily Bread evening meditations. We believe every one of God's children should be able to lie down and sleep each night in peace, no matter what trials and worries the day has held, simply because He is with us. He loves us and He guards us with His presence. We love joining you every night, helping you to draw near to the Lord through His Word, helping you to reflect on His heart and find rest in His presence even in the midst of sorrow and hardship. Please do take a moment to like, review and continue to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and loved ones. Now as we begin our reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths and just let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. In the shelter of His refuge, strength and courage are found. Even in life's unknowns, our Lord walks beside us, guiding our steps and speaking the reassurance of his word. Heavenly Father, how I long to know what lies around the corner. If only I could see into tomorrow and remove the anxiety of living in an uncertain and ever-changing world. Instead, help me to live by faith, not by sight. May I set my hope on you, the one who does see into tomorrow and who will provide for me in every circumstance. I entrust myself to you again tonight. Joshua chapter 3 verses 1 to 4 says, Early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites went to the Jordan, where they camped before crossing over. After three days, the officers went throughout the camp, giving orders to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the Levitical priests carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then you will know which way to go, since you have never been this way before. A new day dawned, and so did a new era for God's people. They were about to cross the Jordan River for the first time and enter the Promised Land. Imagine the excitement the people must have felt 
as they considered their new home. Perhaps there was nervousness as well. What would life be like across the river? What obstacles would they have to face? As they stepped forward into the exciting and daunting unknown, the Lord spoke. When you see the Ark of the Covenant, follow it. Then you will know which way to go, since you have never been this way before. As we enter a new year, we too are crossing over into uncharted territory. We have never been this way before. We don't know what will be round the corner. God speaks the same reassuring instruction to us tonight. You don't know where you are going, but I do. So follow me. The Lord will be with you every step of the way during the year ahead. Set yourself tonight to stick close to his side and follow where he leads. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Rest now in the sanctuary of God's presence where he's waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply now with long, slow exhales. So breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Father, thank you that I don't have to know the way through this year. I don't have to anticipate every storm to navigate or mountain to climb. I simply need to put my faith and my hope in you. Lord, may I be aware of your presence and your leading tonight and through the days to come. Help me to be sensitive to your spirit within me. I don't want to step out on my own. My desire is to walk with you. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord, your God, will be with you wherever you go. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, the year ahead will hold many new things, many places I have never been to, 
and challenges I have never faced. I set my heart to stay focused on you, Lord, the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You will hold me throughout it all and provide just what I need at just the right time. I know that my life is secure in you. Amen.